Hey, our friends! It's me, your neighborhood artist. Steph. <laughs> it's that weird woman that paints with weird things. Yeah, you guys are the ones who suggested this. You're the weird ones. Yeah, it's all your fault. <laughs> For some reason, in the last few videos that we were doing, you guys really made it clear that you wanted us to paint with skittles. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Took me ages. I could not figure out the green and yellow. <laughs> Steph had to separate those for me. Yeah, if you're wondering why there isn't many greens in this, it's because a lot of the oranges were actually in the green section because they're a similar tone and Adam's colorblind. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think that'll be enough too, because how the, how you guys taught us taught us. <laughs> Taught us. taught us. How you guys taught us how to paint with these is we just add water to them and apparently the pigment just comes off and yeah. you can paint I with them. I haven't watched a single tutorial on how to do it. Neither have I. So this goes incredibly wrong. It's all your fault! <laughs> this is what you have to do. You just soak them and paint with the sort of water that it, <laughs> it, it makes, I guess. Oh, it does look like it's going like a reddish it's working. pink cute. Bathe my pretties. By the way as well, there's some paint like dried on on this old palette. Oh right, yeah. I don't want to use a nice palette for this challenge. <laughs> so we used like, it's a really old one that Steph like got acrylics sort of burnt into it somehow. Yeah, so. I've discovered that there's better paint palettes for like acrylics where it actually peels off apparently. I don't own oh, one. What you got there? <laughs> I know I don't like sound effects. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> so what are we doing now? Wow, look at that red. We don't have much green going on in here. Let's see if we can get any pigment out of this. Don't let me down greens. I had such a hard time separating them. <laughs> These two, yellow and red, look amazing so far. I'm they really impressed. They have got impressed. like double the amount of Skittles though. We could open oh. another bag and just put some. <laughs> I'll eat the rest. Let's see here. There are any greens. There are no greens in this bag. Yeah, there aren't any greens in this. There's no greens. Are there any left in here? Oh, orange. <laughs> wow, as if there literally was no greens in that bag. Are greens, are greens like rare? I don't know. We'll have to do an experiment with opening up like every single bag and find out what colors <laughs> And eating them a while, I suppose I better open another one now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, greens. Green gold. Wait, That's orange. No. Talk to me before you put anything in because you it? get confused sometimes. Is this green? <laughs> yeah, that's a green. But yeah, in and that one. That was it though, is that green? No, that's orange. Oh. Wait, there's another green in there, can you find it? Is it this one? Yeah, it is. Oh, I just guessed. <laughs> we don't need you any more Skittles, you over there. I'll eat you later. Where's the lid for this? It doesn't have one. I just found that bottle. <laughs> Yay! Guys, we left this literally 30 seconds and look at this! That is, that looks like paint. <laughs> that I is know, crazy. It's, it's so intense. I wonder how well it's gonna stain the paper. I'll spin them around to get more of like the dye stuff and not that it needs An it. An even distribution. I, I know we always say guys, but if you are curious, we're using the Kents and watercolour paper. Well, what's left of it anyway? Because we're actually pretty close to running out now. Well, I'll have to get a new one of those because it's... Some of the cheapest watercolour paper I've found that's somewhat decent. <laughs> and it doesn't mind when we paint with food all over it. Yeah, that's true. Do you have any idea what you want to uh, paint with these? Look at that, that is amazing. I can't get over how dark it is. <laughs> I'll have to have a think for a minute, I think, because the, the uh, colours are so good. We've be... got to use them all. I mean, it'd be a shame not to use all of these. <laughs> Look at all the skills we didn't use. I'll try and make an effort to not pick something that would need blue, because I'm very good at doing that normally. I pick something that there isn't a colour for. <laughs> I wonder if there isn't a blue skittle because, uh, then again, that might be just an English thing because in England, uh, blue sweets, a lot of blue sweets are banned. It's because they have E numbers in them or something. We used to have blue Smarties and those were banned. And then like those little Willy Wonka nerds. Yeah, and those were The blue were ones like... are banned. So when we import them from America, there's blue ones in it. <laughs> and, and everyone in England goes like, <laughs> Yeah, where you live, right? I'm gonna put a poll. Is blue a legal colour to eat? Well, there's not. <laughs> Poll's over that side, guys. <laughs> Let's move this poll over here. <laughs> Through the magic of editing. <laughs> okay, guys, I've quickly sketched a frog with a snail on his head. <laughs> what was your creative vision for that? Um, I like frogs. <laughs> she reminds me a bit of Jessica Rabbit. 
Really? Yeah. No, that's so weird you should say because the first thing I thought of when I seen that red was a red dress. Oh. And that's what I want to do. I want to give... Yeah, that's what it made me think of as well. Yeah, so I was thinking of doing a character in a red dress with maybe like some kind of multicoloured hair and I thought I'll chuck a few butterflies in to do some different colours too. You know how I said I was going to pick something that would work really well with the colours? Oh. <laughs> I just yeah. got excited about frogs and I completely <laughs> forgot that I was meant to do something. Well, the little dandelion, you've got green and yellow, that'll be really good. Um, uh, maybe I can do like a multicoloured frog to spice yeah, things up a like, bit. Yeah, um, a tropical frog, that'd be really, really cool. Oh, I love tropical yeah. frogs. Like poison dart frogs. I once went to a zoo and I saw those in real life and they jump so fast and they're really colourful. Do you remember when we went to the zoo that time and you asked me to film a turtle and I couldn't keep up and I said really loudly in front of all these people that the turtle was running too <laughs> yes. fast. I was like, can you get a photo with that for me? And you're like, I can't, it's too fast. It's too quick. <laughs> Slow down. That was really embarrassing. <laughs> I want to paint. Just let me paint. Adam said that the colours were fermenting. <laughs> yeah, and they have to ferment for a while. Okay, so I'm going to go with, like I said, the uh, red. And we're going to try and do a, a red dress. Whoa. Oh. This is looking quite nice indeed. Look at that. It's quite lighter than what I thought it would be, but hey, that's good, right? And it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells so good. Yeah, we've got all these over here that I'll help eat. I love the red ones. <laughs> you eat, hey. That's supposed to be from the video. By the way, it's not sponsored, but as always, if anyone the ones to send me things I can eat. <laughs> I've never been sponsored before. <laughs> We've never been sponsored ever. <laughs> no. no one ever sponsors us. Do you think Laura Ashley would sponsor us? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> she comes to our door, why aren't you endorsing my products? Someone told us that um, Laura Ashley at the moment are doing like an advent calendar and I was like, oh, that'd be cool to get for our channel. And then what? I saw the price of it and I was like, oh my gosh, we cannot afford to how do much, that. How much was it? It's like 40 quid. <laughs> well, if our bath products are anything to go by, I'm sure it's money well spent. <laughs> we still have that soap tray in our bathroom. <laughs> yeah, it's very good you soap You guys said tray. it was really expensive. I ain't getting rid of that. <laughs> you know something I'd be curious to try? In fact, I'll do it on my drawing. What are you going to do? I'm just eating skulls right now. <laughs> okay. okay, hun. So, mm. what colour eyes do you want this lovely lady to have? And we shall paint her eyes. Um... Well, based on the colour palette, I think the only natural colour that we have is green. <laughs> what about, like, the black currant eyes? What, purple? Yeah, she's got purple eyes. Oh, okay. I think I've actually read before that some people it's, like, really, really rare. You know, like, how you can get people with red eyes? Oh, and some people that have different coloured ones, too. Mm. Mm. I'm sure I read before that there's some people who have purple eyes well, or guys, violet eyes. Comment down below with your quirky eye-like colours. What colour eyes do you guys have? I have to admit, I think you're all very quirky and cool. I'm excited to try some of this. Okay, well how about I let this dry and you take over yes. for a second. Yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Okay, Skittle Biscuits, are you gonna have a go? Yeah, I wanna try some of the green. The Skittle stuff looks like it's going really sugary or something. <laughs> oh, Let's oh. see if I can... It is, um, it has got a light pigment to it. At the moment, it looks like it's doing better than Tango. Yeah, Tango. <laughs> Which apparently lots of people didn't know what Tango was. I didn't realise that was like a UK specific yeah, drink. Yeah, you guys, a lot of you guys suggested Fanta, which we do have as well. It's just that the day I went to the shop, they didn't have any. And some of you guys said you had, a, I think it was Fago as well, and I'd never heard yeah, of Fago. Yeah, I've never heard of that. But people were sending me photos of the Fanta that they have. And it's so differently coloured oh, to yeah. the Fanta that we have. It's like neon coloured, we were like, like, whoa. There was a blue Fanta? Like we were saying, blue is like an illegal colour <laughs> over here. Blue. Contraband! <laughs> Get arrested with your blue Fanta. <laughs> I've had another idea as well, but I can't do it for the green. You and these secret ideas. Oh, you need yeah, it's gonna... better share them with me. It's just an experiment I want to try. What are you going to do? Are you going to mix them? No! <laughs> okay, I'll show you what I want to try to do. Okay. Uh, let me pick out a colour that I need first. Maybe try the purple? Okay, okay, go with purple. Okay. I want to see if I can use this. Whoa. Get a bit of the water off the top. And see if I can use it kind of like a watercolour palette. All right, so you, you could like go traveling in watercolor with just some water <laughs> and a bag of Skittles. Just that would be pretty cool. It might pick up some really strong pigment if you do it like this. And also oh yeah, I guess it would, it. yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to say. Okay, let's get in there. Is it, is it working? 
Oh, I would say, you know, I think that probably is a bit darker than what the eyes I did were going. It doesn't help that I didn't put some down what it ordinary looks like. Oh, wow. It smells so doesn't good. Doesn't it smell amazing, mm -hmm. though? The sugar got moldy. What's this picture going to do when we're finished with it? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the excitement. We'll post Yay! an update in about three years. <laughs> I've got all these gross paintings <laughs> we made for you guys. <laughs> we're going to do an update video in a few years' time saying I found our old mouldy paintings and we had to like get our house knocked down. <laughs> <laughs> mouldy painting sketchbook tour. <laughs> we probably do have enough now to, <laughs> to get a sketchbook <laughs> tour out of them. That's looking really good, but I do have one question. What is it? Why is your snail purple? He looks very bruised. <laughs> like I said, I just got very excited about drawing things and I forgot about the colour palette. <laughs> or maybe he's allergic to frogs and he's having like an allergic reaction. <laughs> he's like, I just want to be your friend. So we're looking out for a, another green, I so having to open another packet, because greens are apparently really rare. <laughs> Is that green? Yeah, that's a green, that's a green. Excellent. I've had an idea, right? And you guys have suggested it in previous videos that if we use more than one thing, we should mix it all together and see what colour it makes, so... Oh, well, this reminds see. me of when I was a kid and I'd get really excited and put all my crayons together and be like, this is going to make <laughs> the best colour in the entire world. There we go, I think that's all of them, isn't it? Yeah, that's five. I can't believe this, right? Look at this. What? What are you doing? All right, I, I moved that skittle because I was scared it was going to leave some pigment on the paper. Not sure why, it's kind of the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's gonna do what we want it to. So I had it on my thumbs and I just wiped it on here and look at how pigmented that is. Why is it doing that there, but not on my drawing? Maybe it's reacting in a negative way to the paper. I don't even know. Maybe we should have painted this <laughs> on tissue getting, paper. <laughs> stop getting offended at the tissue paper. It's doing its job. <laughs> right, I'm gonna mix this in now. And then whatever color this makes, we have to use it in both of our pictures. Oh, okay. Can we name it as well? Yeah, let's name it as well. There you go, get in there. Don't be shy. It's doing something. Red's taken the lead. <laughs> yeah, like the red and orange pigments, although purple's oh. really starting to do something. I wish you could smell it though. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that smells good. I'm trying to think of what the color reminds me of. At the moment, it kind of reminds me of rust. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful shade of rust. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of that bike I seen in the river one day. <laughs> it looks red. No, that looks red. That oh. looks like rust. <laughs> we'll give it time, we'll give it time. What colour hair? I really think because she's got like, well I was gonna say blue but they're purple. I'd like to give her orange hair but... You could give her rust hair. Rust hair? I guess so, yeah. It's still kind of red, right? Um, would you say that's fully mixed though? I, I'm scared there's gonna be a, a like a beautiful chemical reaction that I'm gonna miss. Come on! <laughs> Isn't um, November that art challenge called like Hugh Vember? Hugh Vember, yeah. It kind of reminds me of this. Is anyone doing it with skills? Yeah, let us know if you're taking part in Hugh or Vember. So you want me to do a hair? A hair in this could be really bad. You want me to do a hair in this, right? Yes. Okay. I'm just concerned that it's going to look really similar to her dress. No, I think it's looking different. Are you sure? This looks really, to me, this looks really oh, similar. But you tend to get reds and browns a bit confused with each other. That I do. To me, this looks exactly the same. I'm like, why is she making me do this? <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. And no, as though the hair looks more of like a brownie colour and the oh, dress God. looks more of a red. Guys, does this look more brown to you? It's a very pale colour at the moment, oh, okay. so... I was going to say, because to me, this is like, yeah, th this is red. <laughs> to me, to give you uh, an indication, the two colours that we've got there, the red and the one that we've just mixed, mm -hmm. to me, they're practically the same. Really? Yeah, totally. It's always interesting to hear how you yeah, see no things. Yeah, no joke, seriously, yeah, yeah. Do any of the other colours look alike? No, don't be st I'm not no, stupid. You kept confusing <laughs> these two. Oh no, now they've diluted, yeah, they totally look different. Okay, but they don't when the skittles. <laughs> the blue and the yellow. The blue. Pff. Does the purple and the yellow look a bit a bit similar, Adam? Uh, no. Are you eating something? <laughs> oh, look in here. <laughs> it's such a delicious challenge. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? You are experiment, guys. Oh no. <laughs> what Wait, are you doing? We wet the skittle. Let's let the water soak in for... One moment. So you're, you're making that skittle moist? Yeah. Okay. One. Okay, I'm sure it's really absorbed in now. Now, I want to try and like smear it round. What are you doing? Does it work? I just wanted to see if I could get it as pigmented <laughs> as what went on that tissue. Okay, so that's the colour I'm getting. Let's see what it looks like compared to this. Let's get in close to see this. <laughs> if any 
anything, I'm getting better colour just out of the palette. <laughs> <laughs> None of my techniques work, guys. Like, Stop smearing me everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you are getting nicer pigment out of it, though, but I do feel like that snail's got in a really bad fight. <laughs> Look at his poor eyes. Oh. oh, let me try the yellow. I haven't tried the yellow. Oh, yeah, okay. Neither of us have tried that yet. It's, uh... I wonder if this will stain the paper because it... the yellow is always one of the hardest colours to make leave a colour. Look at those gradient froggy feet. Yeah, I'm going to try and build him up in like a rainbow colour. Oh, yeah, there's an update on the palette, guys. It looks awesome. I need to figure out where to put that rusty colour as well. Adam uses a method where he doesn't use much water and it co comes out like kind of pastely and it dries fast. Yeah, yeah. Whereas my method is that I use it as Whoa. thick and watery <laughs> as possible and Look then I just hope it'll stain but it takes ages to dry and ages to get the colour up. He's a rainbow frog. It just looks like a, an, a rainbow ate him and then just poked him out. <laughs> The things I've seen! I wanted to see if I could do gradients. <laughs> if you can see on like his chin, in quite a few areas, the the paint, I think, yeah. quotation marks, it kind of separates and leaves like these little puddles in the middle. Oh yeah. It's strange because real paint doesn't do that. Maybe that's like a glucose thing or something. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it's not paint. <laughs> Are you going to um, use tissue to dry it off? Yeah, or? I'm going to try to, because otherwise mm. it would take us like a week to try and get it this stuff to dry. It would like a long time. <laughs> yeah. It looks really cool, though. You've got way better pigment than me. That looks amazing. Well, it might look like it has really good pigment at the moment, but we don't know how much it's actually stained the paper. Well, this is the image that I'm committing to memory. Oh, okay, thank you. So yeah, try and commit this to memory before he goes more pastel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you going to do it? Are you going to use the uh, yeah, tissue paper? I'm nervous to do this. And I've just noticed the red from the rainbow started to drip <laughs> down, so it looks like his mouth's bleeding. <laughs> 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 so let's do up there first. Oh, no! No! No way! <laughs> Look at that! It's, it's... Yours is more pigmented! It's practically gone? <laughs> no way! I honestly, I was not expecting it to do that. No way. Well, maybe I'm doing a pastel frog. <laughs> No, I had such high hopes for it. I was like, this is going to look awesome. <laughs> Does it not look uh, awesome? No. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the colour. <laughs> the snail has got one of the darker pigments on it, and that was one of the first things that I coloured in. Which kind of suggests if you just leave it on long enough. It might soak it up more, maybe? Yeah, maybe. What? Ah! Oh, the cap is so close to me! Oh my god! I'm also I wonder, like, laid in lots of I skittles. What, that was. <laughs> what is that? The things I do to get you guys some good action it's shots. Me. Oh, oh, oh. It's very daring of you to use that pen you like so much on top of these. Really? <coughs> yeah, I ruined a pen, can't you remember? No, bless you, honey. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's the the stuff that we've been using drying this up or <laughs> if it's the pen anymore. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, you're making me wonder whether I should use my brush that's already kind of knackered or whether I should use a pen that I like to the get a line like, effect I like. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, hmm, <laughs> what should I do? I it get. does look like it's struggling a bit though. I think it's just because of the, uh, the e-skittles, I think. Yeah, because the surface of it, let me try and show it on mine. There's a certain way if you hold it up to the light. It looks shiny as though it's wet, but it's not actually... But it's not, yeah, it's like a glaze from the sugar. Yeah, it's just like a glaze drawing. They do smell like amazing. <laughs> I think it's like easily one of the best smelling ones that we've ever done. It smells oh, so sweet. I can't get it to show it the way that it looks in real life, which is annoying. You're just going to have to trust me that it's really sticky and gross. <laughs> <laughs> and look, the rainbow gradient stayed in place. Yeah, yours looks awesome. I'm Nowhere really near pleased. as intense as what it was, but it's there. I'm so glad that it's came out, though. It looks great. <laughs> You're right there. Yeah, I'm just sliding <laughs> down the back of the bed. I've decided I'm going to go with my Ooh. brush that I've already kind of knackered in. I almost went with this, but I don't want to ruin it. I'll like be <laughs> Uniball Micro, yeah? Yeah, so I hope I don't ruin this now with the line up. Let's see how this goes. I'm proud of this little rainbow frog. So sticky. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. I have no idea. <laughs> hey, it's working though. 
I'm curious guys, be sure to let us know if you have also painted with skills in the past and how, and how it came out for you. I have to admit I am pretty impressed with them. Okay, it's pastely again, but hey, it works, it works. Um, if you can't afford like a hundred dollar or whatever watercolor set, but you can uh, have like a dollar bag of skills or whatever, hey, it'll work. Not Kool-Aid's where it's at. If you want to invest... <laughs> this is like, a Skittles a video, not yeah, the Kool-Aid Invest in the Kool-Aid. That stuff is crazy pigmented. If you're an artist, buy shares in Kool-Aid now. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're going to have their own watercolour line in no time. <laughs> we might have tipped the water over by accident if we're trying to get it up. <laughs> I've got one, I've got one. At least it's just water. Yes. 